What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage for another video. Today we have a box and what's inside the box? Something pretty cool. One of my buddies on Instagram, his name is B5Blue6.2. I'm going to put his information in the description below. Go check him out. He had purchased this. Um, it's an underhood light. It's a 30 watt setup. It's manufactured by a company called ATD Tools. I'll leave a link in the description below for the Amazon, but this is what I ended up getting. I was tossing back and forth between a couple different ones, but the fact that he knew that this worked and I saw pictures of it and I, I did get a couple good reviews that I read about it. This is the one I went with and I didn't know this at the time of ordering, but it includes a magnetic fender cover. So let's just see this real quick. You know, if you're interested in some of the features on this crinkly label, but basically the whole premise behind this is that you plug it in and it hooks underneath your hood on the inside of it so that it points straight down on your engine bay. What better time to do a video like this than at nighttime because there's no sunlight peeking through the crevices on my poorly insulated doors of the garage. So we could basically unbox this, show you what it looks like, and put it on the car, shut all the lights in the garage off so that the only lights we have to work with are these lights right here. So we'll see what's going on. Packaging is done very well. Here's the magnetic fender cover that I won't ever use, but that's cool. And here is the, here's the uh, light. So we take some of this protection off here. This is what I was most interested in. I'm probably gonna double up on the foam on that just because, um, but for now, it doesn't feel bad. So uh, let's pull it out. Okay guys, so now that we have this out, away from the box, this looks like a pretty sturdy unit. Um, one thing you do need to understand is that it does move, which is pretty cool. So it can twist and turn depending on where you need to point your setup, which I like that because that logo is hideous. I don't know why they did that. Well, I do, marketing, but it's annoying. So, looks good. It's definitely sturdy. Like I said, I don't love that these are a little bit harder. It's, it's a rubbery material, but it's not... I don't know. I don't want to damage my car, so I might put more foam on the insides of that depending on where it touches. So I'm gonna pop the hood and I'm gonna position this inside and I'm gonna see what it looks like now. Okay, so I flip and caved. I, I thought there's just no way I'm gonna put this on my car. But if you look at the design, I I'm sure I'm gonna tweak this as time goes on. But for right now, until I find a better solution, I've got little foam strips that I had laying around. It was from, you know, insulation stuff whatever so I've got that for right now because the way these are I just don't I don't know if this is soft enough I'm gonna have to find a better solution but for right now this is all right um, this is what it looks like inside of the hood now this goes in and it, it pulls out so it extends now the solution that I'm gonna have to come up with is how I can avoid to put this on. Now, the underside of this is nice. It's a magnetic one. It's really soft. So, I don't I don't foresee it causing scratches, but if the panel's not clean, my panel's clean, thankfully, but if that fender's not clean and something rubs on it, I don't like the thought of that. So, I would have to come up with something that would... I mean, I was thinking keeping the cord through here, but even then, it would still have a risk, unless, hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna just take this off for right now. So, like I said, there's always a solution. For right now, this is my solution. I've got a pull string so what this is going to do, listen, I know this is above and beyond, but I don't want things touching my fender and I don't want to have issues. 
So if I could get over that, I mean, I'm sure this isn't going to do much, but what if it does? And the paint on these edges is thin, so it kind of freaks me out, but I will think of something because as long as it's padded, it's not going to do anything, which is okay with me. So that's going to be the biggest fix. But for right now, I've got the cord here and let me, let me shut this off so you can actually see. I basically just put the pull string up and I just looped it in. So the only way this is going to fall, I know some people are going to say, oh, it's going to potentially fall. The only way is if I actually lift this up a little bit and take this ball through the hole. So we're good. There's no way. And I know that's not coming off there because it's rock solid and tie strapped like a, a fiend. I went nuts. So this is good. This is a solution for that part. And then, you know, obviously it sucks. Like, you know, you don't want to have to like walk around things. But for me, I don't, I have a ton of space here. 90% of the time if I'm working on the car, you know, the car is going to be in the back this way, exactly where it's parked. Or it's going to be half in. And at that point, I would have that pull string. So I think this is going to work out just fine. We'll see. Otherwise, I do have this too for my punching bag. When I think of people I hate, I punch it. But I don't have it up right now because I'm, I'm a cool guy. I'm a calm guy right now. So we're going to turn this on with the lights on. Because these are some bright lights. And we're going to see how they compare. Okay. This is the way it's positioned. Like I said, you can move it if you want to point toward the back. I want to point more toward the front, but for this application and for what I'm going to be needing this forever, it's going to be pointing straight down. So on the actual handle, there's a switch. We're going to hit the switch. Whoa. Whoa. See the difference. Now, again, this camera, the G7X Mark II, it does have pretty damn good low light, but this is a... Pretty big difference, so I can I can see I can see just about everything. Excuse the engine bay; it's not as pretty as it should be. There's some things coming, but this is this is a ton of a ton of light. And then you know you can even point it back a tiny bit like that, which I think I like it back toward not quite straight on because then you're getting it in your face but if you turn it a tiny bit you see it doesn't it doesn't blind you as much we'll see there's, there's going to be tweaks to be made as with everything I do there's tweaks to be made but you can't go through a product and just say it's perfect there's no such thing I don't think in my mind at least but uh, I'm going to change the battery on this camera real quick and then what we're going to do is turn the lights off and just see what it really does all right guys so that's off. This is our little uh, ingenuity. I like it. I'm going to stick with that idea. All right? That's off. Now, as you can see, there's no other lights in here. Like I said, the low light's pretty good on this camera. I'm going to turn this off. It's pitch black. Now, um, that was kind of dumb because I'm kind of feeling around here. All right. So, I found the handle. I found the switch. I'm going to turn it on right. Now, wow. That's crazy. That's absurd, man. Let me tell you. It lights up a lot of the garage. Look at the floor. That's That's pretty beastly. I'm not going to lie. We're on the other side, the side that you didn't get to see yet. But as you can see, this is this is a lot. This is a whole lot of light. Way more than you need. So, I mean, granted, I'm not a mechanic, but there's always something you can tweak. And this cool thing about this thing is that you can use this on any car. So I think this is awesome. I really do. Get a look at this uh, setup in here. It's not going to be like that for much longer. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, uh, yeah, like I said, 
here's the bar it extends through now there's only one tube the other side even though it's got that ugly logo thing on it it's just empty because it's got these pull throughs can't really see okay so it's got these pull extensions that come out and uh like i said we've got foam here we're gonna figure all that out but this is that's pretty it's pretty insane that's pretty remarkable guys so i'm just gonna get a quick thumbnail and admire it just admire the just admire the beauty of it because i think that's flipping awesome very cool well that's it for today's video actually that's it for tonight's video but Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There is so much content coming, I promise. Especially in the spring. 2019 is going to be ridiculous. But I appreciate all the support. You guys are awesome. And I'm signing out.